What's up, Rockstars? Today I have the pleasure of unboxing something that you know what it is, but I don't. That's because I put it on the thumbnail, but at this point in time, I don't know what the thumbnail is. So let's go ahead and open this up. This should be interesting. It says TNT, the People's Network, so it's wrapped in a channel tape for God knows why. Let's see what's in this. All right, now, as always, a huge shout out, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that I'm able to, I know this is going to be a little loud, to stay independent from the board game industry so that I can freely give you my honest opinion and not my wallet's opinions because I take no money from any game developer so that you can trust that any bias is my own and not built off of money. So there's at least that. Um, and of course, if you can and are willing to help the channel out, this is a very expensive hobby. Um, there is a link in the description below to that, um, and probably to whatever this is in there, so you can go take a look at that as well. I'll find out soon enough what it is. Even if you don't give or you can't, that's fine too. Comment saying this video was nice, a like on the way out, all that's super helpful as well. There's like a lot of stuff in this. So let's, try and, let's try and, I'm trying not to like take the whole thing off. Do you see by the way the T and like, it's so weird. No, it has TNT on there. <laughs> Beats me. At first, because it's, you know, it's like, at least in America, it's close to Independence Day. So I was like, it's like 4th of July TNT fireworks? Or, you know, what the heck? But then, oh, the people the network, okay. That's random. I don't know why they have it, but they do. Okay. All right. Okay. Whew. It out. Here's a box here. Then I have a big old thing of minis. That's cool. So I can't see into it though. Look at that. This is why you put a case on there. Look at this. Look at that. What the heck? Come on, shipping. <laughs> That's crazy. That's why you ship it like this because stuff gets damaged. This is a nice case too. Man, I could have reused this case. Gosh darn it. Oh well. No one's there now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open this now. And then we'll do a top town version of the minis and the box and we'll see everything kind of up close. Up close, in your face, and personal. Looks like just two things of tape here, which is nice. Helps me out. I always struggle with unboxing, to be honest, so. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Okay, now see, this is reminding me of like Archon, right? Archon always ships stuff like this. Let's see what we got here. We got lots and lots of, like, strips of, this is interesting, like, strips of it. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to, to think about that, but we got a case in here. Looks like some more minis. And, and, in case here, this might be my first inkling. Okay, so I can tell you right now that this is almost guaranteed Levon Rising, the Wild Ascent Levon Rising from Lazy Squire Games. Recognize that art anywhere. You can't fool me. You can't fool me. We got some cards here. Very cool. Yep, there's the Telltale backs of them. And my understanding is Levon Rising, while it's Wild Ascent, it's like Wild Ascent Plus Plus. It's kind of like a mixture between what they've learned from Storm Sunder and then, of course, what they started with in Wild Ascent. So it's a little bit more story driven and whatnot. Got some player cards and stuff. Again, we'll see all this top down in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, a ton of minis, so this this should prove interesting. It looks like a pretty hefty uh, prototype, which is nice. And then it's something, oh gosh. Oh no, what is, it? oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a mini and a half. Well, this is. Look at this dragon. Ooh. Four wings, so this will be on like this. I'll glue this on before we kind of look at top down, just so it's kind of fair to them. But it'll be like that. Look at that. Look at that dragon. Woo! That's awesome. He's very thick, like the new Godzilla kind of style. I dig it. I love it. It's like Dad Bod Godzilla or Dad Bod Dragon. <laughs> okay, so that's everything in this box. And again, I'm not even going to bother with this one uh, until we do the top down. So let's go ahead and meet over there. 
All right, guys, now we're at the top-down version of the video where you can kind of look at this more closely. I went ahead and glued his wing back on, looking good as new, and as you can see, he looks freaking fantastic. So there is that. Um, I talked with the developer a little bit about this, and I believe they said this was on like a Form 4 or something like that. It was printed, and again, very nicely, and it is. It's very nicely done. The tiny bits of texture on all the sand looking great. They did a good job on all of this. Really, really nice looking, but again, this is a 3D print, so keep that in mind. 3D printers, by the way, in case you couldn't tell, can make some freaking great minis. So, yeah, awesome here. I'll, I'll shake his hand. Okay. Looking good, though. Again, I love the design of it. Really, really do. We'll put him right there in the corner. And then we'll look at some cards and stuff like that. This will just be real quick. We'll get to the minis. Don't you worry about it. We'll, we'll get there. All right, so this is not everything. Obviously, I'm going to be using some of the core box as well to get some of the stuff. Like there's no game board, or I'll be using that same game board. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really have enjoyed the art style that they have going on here. Everything looks super nice and colorful, which I really appreciate. The backgrounds are nice. I also like that they make it seem almost like it's on kind of a board. At first I was kind of not sure about it, but I actually ended up biking with like a separator there. I'm going to keep it there. There's some uh, different uh, cards here to also use. Looking interesting there. And then you some more for the different characters. And again, I love the choice of colors. I really do. Really, really do. So, there is that. Boop. Ooh, that was loud. Okay. Got some more cards here. Take a quick look at them. And then we'll look at the characters. We'll look at a few of the tokens. And then a whole bunch of minis. Okay, looks like I'm probably going to have to take a few out like that first. There we, are. there we are. Okay. Then we'll look at that. Keep it in the same order. There we are. Work harder not on smarter. Work smarter not. I don't even know. Okay, so these are all same kind, which is a little like they were too. You got all sorts of different uh, actions that uh, the enemies will do. Which again, I love the different flashes of color. I think that looks super nice, actually. They'll have this kind of like top part here. I'm unsure how I feel about that. I don't know how necessary that is. It almost seems like wasted space. Like I, I, I dig it, and uh, like I think it's. I don't know. I'll have to see how it is on the table because it does kind of give the sense of where you're at because it's like down at your level as opposed to above level. And that's actually kind of nice. So um, maybe I just talked myself into liking that more. <laughs> First, I was like, I don't know if that's necessary. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, th thematic wise, I think. Anyway. All right. Oh, looky here. Looky there. characters and then some of their uh some other stuff here it looks good a veteran pinner berserker got rose onyx dragons uh yeah i love the jewels there infernal dragon dragons and dragon hmm. and then dragons again and here's coralt and dream and dark and all them so here's some new cards for them as well which is kind of interesting and then we have these all, yeah, they're all just one side here. Uh, Galia, uh, a very interesting. She looks like she's from Naboo <laughs> with with her hair like that. It's kind of funny. Uh, Blessed Blades making her own luck. Whirlwind. Uh, she, so she's too, like Two Face. <laughs> Make your own luck. Uh, Tavor maneuvers, shield smash, tried and throw. Ex execute. I love it. Uh, Nilis, very cool. Looks like a kind of a like a dark elf kind of look here. Very much dig that. And then Zarolin, Zalder, Zalorin. Okay, then there's this guy too. Uh, very much like his hammer, looks super unique there. Whoever he is. <laughs> All right, let's get into some minis. What do you say about that? Huh? What is, oh wait, 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 tokens. Take a look, quick look at tokens. That's a nice little token organizer they gave me. Thank you, I will use this. I dig it. Okay, these are just like the, um. Storm Sunder ones I got, by the way. So it's kind of like this printed on plastic, 
Uh, they use them a lot for like advertisements and like malls, if you remember those, or like inside restaurants, like a fast food place or something like that. Sometimes they'll put in a little little advertising sign or something. That's kind of what this is. I forget the name of it per se, but they're actually very cool. I dig them. Uh, yeah, again, very colorful, which I like. Uh, and so far, it looks like just two different shapes. So it has got circle and then non-circle, all double-sided, which again, I also appreciate as well. So we got some minis. Let the tape get untaped. Don't know if this is even where I need to cut it, but that's where I'm cutting it. Hopefully. Oh, I should, I should have cut on the bottom. I think I will. We'll make this happen. All right. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Okay. Oh, it's on the back, too. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? All right. I think... Oh, I was just gonna start ripping that off. Right, we'll get this. Okay. What's the dealio? Why don't you like me? What did I do? Did I not cut you? Ooh, got it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, here you go. <laughs> so we'll start here. I <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, see, this is just what I was talking about earlier. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Get that nice and focused. There we go. Um, adding a little bit of color goes a long way. Now, I will actually, I think, probably just grab some Blood for the Blood God and put it there instead of just the red. Um, but very nice to see that. Looks like a little piece broke off. Not my fault. You guys saw me open it. I opened it nice. <laughs> Uh, love the little in, I know outlay here too. By the way, it looks good. Yeah, all of it looks nice. Three D printed. Looking good though. This is gonna be a mess, but you know whatever. I'll clean it up later. You guys don't know, but sometimes the setup and tear down of these unboxings are worse than a game. <laughs> There's another one, same thing. I think you get two of each, so it kind of makes sense to be in there like that. Of the, these are kind of like traps you put like on the board, kind of a terrain effect things. Here's like a barricade. Love the little red on there too. All of these have been used, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh oh, somebody got in from behind though. <laughs> Not looking good. Love it. And again, detail wise, I think they look great too. So I suspect this. Oh no, it's not the same thing. Little, little tree with a little birdie. Oh, it's so nice and pleasant. No blood on this one. <laughs> be great if like the the bird had some blood on it. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep on going. Oh, so we got multiples. Okay, here's one. Okay, same as uh, love love the little bit of red though. Really do dig that. That's awesome. Just little touches like that. I think a little bit of color goes a long ways. Very cool. I dig them. These are the bigger scale, by the way. So that's that's the big difference here. Is you're also seeing a different scale. And then I think that's it there. Okay. Stay organized by throwing that on the ground. Put you guys in there. And next we have some more of these guys. You know what I might do for you guys? I might actually get my wild ascent. And show kind of a size comparison. You gotta say about that. Kind of see, okay, how big of a difference is this really? Right? Might be something. Because you can be told, but to actually visualize it, I think helps a lot. It really does. Look at that. Looks great. Look at that hair. I love it. Really, really do. Uh, getting the flowers there, I think, was very smart. Very cool design. I really like this character, actually. 
Uh, her fingers, by the way, splayed out like like that. Very nice. The book with a page turning. I don't think I've ever really seen that on a miniature of this skill before. Really dig that. And there's texture on the pages for the words and whatnot. Looks freaking awesome. Really, really good. Love all the... Oh, there's so much. Hold on. <laughs> Look at all the potions. Kind of just like like bursting out. She's got a ton of potions. Really dig that. Love it. That's cool. Love the tassels here too. Oh, some like more like herbs and potions and stuff there. Very, very cool. Awesome character. I really like that one. Let's see what else we got. It did package this quite well. Another one. Surprise, there's duplicates actually, because she's really cool. Another one. <laughs> Very cool as well. Some, oh, look at that. See, again, you get this kind of column there, right? You get that little splash of red. It looks great. Love the tabard there. And what a great smart way to make, make your columns stand out. You get columns a lot in games, but you don't tend to get this. Very nice way to set it apart. I have not had another game with that on them, and I re very much appreciate that. I really do, actually. Like, a lot. Like, that's nice. What else we got here? Probably just another one. Gosh. No? no? What do we got here? <sighs> Yet another one. <laughs> we get four of them and a pillar. All right, so what's we got? What else we got? Oh my gosh, so many of these. It's worth it because I get them all in one piece, but my goodness. Okay, again, a little bit of color goes a long way, I feel. I love the helmet, super cool helmet. Blade looks, or uh, not the blade, the bow looks really cool. I love that he's grabbing, grabbing it, but he's actually pulling one out. And again, I've never seen one quite at that part of the motion before, so I really do dig that. I also am glad that they're not trying to figure out how he's going to do it on his shoulder and keep that stance. You can pull an arrow, typically depends on the arrow, of course, and, and everything else, but um, out from your back, quite hard. Typically, you want to do it from the uh, the side if you want to do it any, any, any way fast, not like hurt your arm after a while. Um, great design. It's all around. Very cool. I dig it. And of course, I'm speaking uh, about arrows and how to shoot them because I've done a vast amount of research and I actually have a YouTube degree in the fact that I watched several videos on it and they told me to say that. So, <laughs> okay, here's one where they changed. This whole part here has changed a lot. It's much more swooshy now. The first version uh, from Archon Studios was like very, uh, um, like cumulus cloud kind of bubbly a little bit. You can see a little bit of the supports still from the print just a few um but yeah no it looks really good dig that he's definitely big and bad that's for sure at least he feels the way you can tell he's a little confident <laughs> got another one here this is oh look at that but they put blue in there because he was blue this is the guy i can't pronounce his name her name or whatever a little bent i need to bend that back bloop, bloop, bloop. right there that's how you want it just like that <laughs> Very, me I mean, again, the scale on this is so much bigger. So much bigger of a mini, as you can see. Like, there's a big difference here. So, yeah, I'm no longer questioning that. That's big. Like, God, I think it's just a big character, though. I mean, look look at the size difference there. Well, a big boy or girl or whoever it is. I can't even tell. I think it's actually a lady by the looks of it. Looks like a lady. Looks, dude looks like a lady. Right? Isn't that? Dunna, dunna. No? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Freaking stabbing a freaking dinosaur. All right. So this one, where we got a, a freaking trident, which isn't a sweet weapon. It's not used nearly enough, obviously. Um, the straps over on the shield look great. The inlay work in the inside of the shield look awesome. I really appreciate that as well. This one's probably a little bit darker. It looks like it's mostly on the outside for the brightness here. But love how he's stepping on it. I love how big it is, too. Look how much bigger this is than him. 
but he's about to go in for the killing blows. It snarls. It's like last snarl, which I really appreciate that also. Just looks super cool. Love the, the motion. It looks like he just kind of jumped on it and he's about to plunge it in. Really like that. And of course the hair looks good. The ears, the face, all that looks great. So excited to see that as well. All right. Here we have an archer. And again, I think it looks awesome. She actually has it on the side like I was talking about before. And very much a kind of like push off, push away. You know, that you do this in video games a lot, right? Where you do that to like shoot back. So you're kind of lunging backwards while shooting forward, but kind of at the feet. Normally it's a little bit of an explosive arrow that pops up. You know what I'm talking about. You've done it before. It's your level 12 skill. Yes. I don't know. Um, no, it looks good though. Uh, the face looks a little weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the wash did not uh, accentuate <laughs> very well. <laughs> uh, the rest of it looks, just don't look too close. So that's all. Okay. Um, fun part time. So there's a pillar here. There's a pillar here. Do you see the size difference though? So definitely a smaller pillar. Now there can be different size pillars. There's nothing wrong with that. But it is sometimes interesting to kind of check to see, is it the same style? No, but close, but not quite the same style. Very close in style, but not quite the same. And obviously a different size too. Anyway, just interesting to look. I always try to want to see similar stuff like that on the base. Um, but no, she's looking cool. As long as you don't look at her face. Come on, Minnie. All right, I got so much of this on my floor right now. You guys don't even know. The pickup on this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> All right, uh, definitely skinnier than it will be eventually. That's gonna be thickened up a little bit. <laughs> no, no chance of that. Um, so love the wood splinter, by the way. See that how it's not like a. Let me show this is nice and focused for you guys. But you see how it's like the it's not rings instead of like the splintered. Really, really dig that. I love seeing differences like that. That makes it super unique. Um, it looks like he's probably about to lean it forward, you know, and kind of shoot, I'm, I'm guessing sideways, maybe. I don't know, because I don't think he'd be really shooting down below, right? But he's also then kind of looking down, so maybe he's shooting down. I don't know. I don't think so, though. I think he needs to, you know, bend those back a little bit <laughs> and shoot. Uh, no, looking good, though. Love the detail. Uh, the little kind of stuff here looks really cool. Really love the inlay there. Very ornate. Love the types of rock he's on too, by the way. Just a very cool, oh, love the look at the cloak here. That cloak looks great. Great looking cloak. And it looks very different than his hair, which is always important. And the hair looks separate too. It's always very nice to see when they look different like that. Um, yeah, this looks really good. Uh, full quiver for the most part, though if you look, at least for now, see, there's actually a little bit of a divot there in the quiver. A lot of times this will be flat. It's nice to see that that is not flat. We'll see if that lasts. Uh, d definitely a, a task to keep it hollow like that, but also very nice if they manage it. All right. Oops, gonna drop the minis. Look at this one though, this one looks cool. I dig it. This is the uh, like lady I said that had like their very interesting hair thing. Very much in a power stance, right? Not necessarily ready to fight yet, but uh, Definitely ready to uh, fight a little bit. <laughs> ready to fight at a moment's notice. Um, love the cloak, very cool. And again, this whole design on her head makes her very unique, a very interesting and unique design here. So really appreciate that. And this is, I think, a great example of how high a mini will be in this. So I'll do a good comparison with that, just because she's standing fairly straight, not bent over or leaning or lunging or anything, you know, kind of funky like that. There's a little funk in her. I'm not bringing the funky fresh. All right. Uh, the good old barbarian axe guy. Love it. I see. I think he looks cool. Look at his face. Look at the freaking scar there. It's freaking sweet. Heck yeah. Love the like knee cap angry face stuff. Love the you know ornate evil. Look at the red on that. It looks so great. <laughs> it really does look good. Um. The skin looks good. All the scars on there are good. I love this like little fabric billowing out from 
underneath the uh, armor here. Mainly because a lot of times people forget that you don't just wear armor like right on your skin. You would get chafed so freaking bad. <laughs> you could, you'd have a layer underneath. <laughs> and it's cool to have that just kind of coming out like that. What a great design. Again, a little hollow here for the little horn that he has. Very cool basing as well. Really did that, especially the skull right here with the tusks. Very nice. I'm glad it's up front, but not quite like facing in front, so it's not super obvious. Um, some cool little grass stuff here and here. It's kind of nice to see. Overall, just, I think, a fantastic sculpt design. It looks great. A lot of, again, a lot of aggression in this one. I like that. Just really running full force into battle there. Uh, that is a barbarian if I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have a very defensive guy, so a very aggressive guy. So hunched over with the shield up, weapon kind of next to it, and very much a defensive stance. Really like that. There's some of that grass again, which I like, and actually helmeted. No, oh, no, man, just a, a one horn on it. All these kind of different uh, enemies. They're not, not exactly from Earth, obviously. Um, no, very much like his armor. And just, again, his overall stance of kind of squatting there, ready to kind of slowly advance or take a hit encounter uh, I think is awesome really like that all right I just realized like as much as I complain about unboxing this somebody had to wrap this up Robert if that was you I apologize for taking so much of your time to wrap it <laughs> just to unwrap it love this on the front that's freaking sweet that's really big though <laughs> Spiked shoulders look great. Again, another little uh, trident kind of thing. The ropes look awesome. Also looks like a pretzel. Um, some more rope here. The rope really helps Saint change things up a little bit um, in a good way. And I very much like how sometimes the grass is in the front. Sometimes it's on the side. Sometimes it's in the back. Um, very nice as well. And again, using the base to its full effect so that they can kind of pose them really nice. All right, next up, we have freaking this guy. Heck yeah. Look at this guy. Darn. Love the red tongue. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great face. Love the teeth, the open mouth. Um, the eyes look great. Um, very much like a, a zombicide character a little bit, right? With the skinnier legs and these big old hulking uh arms which are even more hulking thanks to the three layered uh shoulder pads he has freaking spike chained of course oh man look at the freaking gnarliness in the back oh man i didn't even see that look at the tail what do you again the monster design here is i really really appreciate it's kind of how unique of a world this is i'm excited to maybe learn a little bit more about it actually really really am crazy world they live in here <laughs> Okay, here's another one of those kind of generic guys. But this guy, love the hammer, by the way. Really dig that. Much more aggressive. And if you see, he's like way up front in the base, right? He is like way up in your face, leaning over even, especially that kind of turn there to even lean down to bring that hammer down. Super awesome. I dig it. That's a great stance. Uh, the back of the foot is flat. I always try to check that, see how textured the bottom is. It looks like he's on a little... Little sandals. Look at that little, little sandals. All that armor and he brings sandals. <laughs> Somebody's going to step on your toes, dude. Oh, man, I don't think he freaking cares. Love it. What a great... I love... That's a great sculpt design. I really like that one. All right. Oh, my gosh. So many. We're on the last row, by the way. Here's some more plastic pieces and chunk. <laughs> Oh, freaking A, look at this thing. No, nope, no, thank you. That is disgusting, is what that is. <laughs> oh, man, freaking grody. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, Really like these coming out here. Uh, kind of uh, uh, matches these in a way to where it kind of brings a little bit of, kind of symmetry there. Fills out the edge a little bit. Again, like that it's coming out and then up. Um... This texture here and this texture here seem kind of similar um, when it's painted like this. See, like it's kind of hard to see where it starts and where this begins. If you actually painted it, obviously it'd probably be different colors. And I think that would look a bit better. But this one almost kind of hides that just because it's all kind of the, the, the same kind of ribbed texture 
<laughs> yeah, m moving on from that before I say more. Let's see what else we got. What else you got? Da, da, da. All right, look at this dude. Love it. He's got freaking eyes on his uh, legs. It's kind of interesting. Lots of skulls. Dig the skulls. Dig all the scars on him and stuff like that. Really like battle damage skulls a lot. Um, again, also quite aggressive. I like that he's in kind of a, a motion attack stance. The fact that this stuff is coming out of his mouth is freaking disgusting. Um, okay, no thank you. Yeah, that's 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 gnarly. He's just got a little tiny tail. <laughs> we got Woo -hoo, okay uh this looks like what the exactly that guy was stabbing where's that guy where's mr stabby look at this look at this huh huh yeah uh-huh uh-huh cool there you go now you know what he's stabbing stabbing this guy uh very cool love he's like a freaking um what are they? is it a platypus whatever the stuff with the freaking poison barbed Freaking claws coming out of its freaking elbows. Um, great base, by the way. I really like the kind of sand with a little bit of rubble mixed in and then some rock outcroppings there and some grass as well. Painting all that up, it would look exquisite, look freaking awesome. And the, it's very separate too, as you can see too, which looks really nice. Um, texture here looks good. I love that it's on the side so you get to see the bottom, but then the scale plates as well. Way, whale, as a whale as well. <laughs> Looks good. All right, we got three more here. Let's take a look. Let's finish it off. We got this here. Another one of them. Oh man, if the last four are all the same, wouldn't that just be funny? <laughs> well, glad to see you at the end of the video. You get to see me open stuff you've already seen before. There's another column <laughs> with something else in there. Another guy. <laughs> Oh, it. all right, last one. This is our last hope, guys. Something different. I don't think we're going to get it. So four of those guys as well. All right, so. As you can see, it's pretty darn cool. Looks pretty darn cool. I'm excited for it. He looks awesome. All right, let me do that comparison real quick, and uh, then we'll end it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's see what we got here. Don't know who or what, or why they're separate. Oh, man. Oh, man, what is this? Ooh, looks exciting. What do we got here? Oh, freaking A, sweet. Oh, they increased the size of this guy a lot. So this is one of my favorite enemies in the game, just from a design perspective. When they were first showing the Wildest of Minis, this was the one I was excited about the most. Um, he is super cool. I could never say his name. I, I mean, I'm, you know, me. Um, but very cool design with the skulls and the cloak and everything like that. Just a, a fascinating looking enemy because it's like slightly alien, but then it's also wearing kind of clothes and stuff. So it's like not... Um, and again, it's got like skulls or as like a bracelet here. So very cool. And I love seeing the little guys in here too. Very cool. This is probably my favorite one besides the dragon, to be honest. I really like the design of this guy. I think he looks very interesting. Uh, just again, just a little bit unique uh, or a little bit like similar, but then also like, you know, just how they draped the skulls all over him and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Design. And it looks great too, obviously. Very nice. All right. That's that. All right, guys. So here is kind of a scale. You can kind of see the uh, the difference in scale there. So this is kind of a person standing. And as you can see, um, about head and shoulders above the person, I would say. At least a head taller. Here's kind of a, kind of a similar thing here, right? I mean, of course, he's standing versus not. But, I mean... Yeah, actually quite a bit taller. In fact, if he was standing straight, yeah, he's he's actually a, a fair bit taller than her. Which is fine. They're not, not everybody's the same size, right? 
And again, same thing here. You can kind of see the scale difference there. Um, really big difference. <laughs> like it's actually pretty sizable. If you just look at like the, the leg, right? And how thick the leg is kind of thing, like armor to armor, um, or even just, just the heads. Uh, it's it's pretty significant, I would say. Definitely not something uh, that is just ignored, and that you're not mixing these two up, right? These like this is a child uh, compared to like a, a you know, like like you know mythic battles when you have the gods and the regular people. Yeah, it's almost like that. There's definitely a big difference, but they're also doing it in the um, lazy squire way more. This is definitely the archon way, um, where the bases are sculpted and all that. But as you can see, there's a big difference in how they use the sculpts and the bases to really kind of uh, a little bit be a little bit more dynamic and use a lot more of it uh, and you don't you get more of that here than you did here so it's not just um scale i would say but also very much a design philosophy kind of entirely really so anyway that's it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed that again there will be a link down below so you can follow along as it kind of uh, comes online here fairly soon all right thanks guys for watching take care